Hi guys, welcome back. He's excited for your cornbread. Yeah. For your healthy cornbread. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's huh. just the milk and the maple syrup. We're gonna put in some olive oil now. combination of ingredients that's for sure I know right I don't think I've ever yeah I don't think I've ever baked with this kind of ingredients but you know what yeah. nothing beats a trial but a failure so if it turns out then it's a win if it doesn't we know we'll never do it again so and the way to find out is if we try it out right exactly so now we're gonna put our flour in the whole wheat flour for this recipe yep because again it's healthy cornbread Means oh look, it's Batgirl. Batgirl, say hi. Hi. <laughs> One cup, using half cup. And then we're gonna use a quarter cup. So two and a quarter cups of whole wheat flour. But you've made regular cornbread before, right? Yeah, I made it before. Um, just has a lot of sugar, mm. and butter, so, and all that. So it's just nice to try a, a different variation of it and oh, see sure. how it turns out. For sure. As good as it is, it's probably not very healthy for you. <laughs> so this is this is still not the healthiest, but you know. Our cornmeal, the most important ingredient. Yes, indeed. Mmm. So bread milk. I know, right? So we didn't have um, baking powder, which is the next ingredient in the recipe. Uh, so we went online and just looked up um, a replacement, which I've already mixed. And it's just, uh, it's two teaspoons it calls for. So for one teaspoon, you're gonna put in, what was it? Cornstarch? One teaspoon of cream of tartar. Mm. And then a quarter of a teaspoon uh, baking soda and cornstarch. Nice. That's for one teaspoon. Mm. So it's a lot more extra, but yeah. Just salt. You're gonna put in one fourth of a teaspoon. And then yeah, and the next step is just gonna be to mix it all together. Mm -hmm. It says do not over mix. What that means? Hmm. It's all combined pretty much. Okay. So we got like a smooth consistency, I guess. Oh, yeah, it has such an interesting taste. Smell. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Well. It looks good. It looks good. Ariana's giving us the green light, so I'm feeling confident about it. All right. So next step. how they came out they have a nice golden color they're nice and fluffy and I'm about to dig into one actually I'm gonna let Cassandra do the taste test but it only took 15 minutes for them to bake yeah it didn't take long at all yeah it didn't take long at all so Cassandra has volunteered to do the taste test sure moment of truth I think we should split it in half and see Okay, um, the knife is right there. Oh, well, actually, you know what? Let me take a we'll try half. Yes, the moment of truth. We're gonna try these healthy version corn muffins. Should we like put 
Anything on it? Like butter or no? You could have a little butter if you want. Mm. Let's just try it plain for now. Okay. Or jam. Oh yeah. I was gonna say toast. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Well. Not bad. Hmm. Hmm. I get the cornbread taste. Mm-hmm. Um, they definitely don't have that sweet taste, I guess, because we didn't use the sugar. Mm -hmm. But um, there's like a hint of it, but mm -hmm. it's nice because sometimes cornbread can be too sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree. They're nice. We probably could have um, taken them out of the oven Bye. a little bit earlier. Ariana, would you like to taste the cornbread? Yes, please. Yeah, we'll give you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. You know what? I like it. It's mm -hmm. nice and light, mm -hmm. not too heavy. It tastes good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Is it yummy like Montana's? Yes. Okay. So guys, I'm going to leave the description in the description box or the uh, directions, instructions? The recipe. Recipe, thank you. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.